Hi everyone. In this short tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to add depth or enrich the sound of a single instrument. What I've got here is a short guitar riff that I've put down and I'm going to play that and show you how to enhance it. I'm no longer going to demonstrate how to add instruments and chop and change them and crop them because you should know that by now from my previous videos. So I'm just going to play this guitar riff on its own. Let's play it. Okay, we'll stop that. What I'm going to do is to click and drag and highlight that guitar, and I'm going to copy that, hold the control key down, click and drag, and I'm going to copy that to another track. It doesn't matter where, as long as it's in line with the first track. And I'm going to copy it again to there. Now, we have three guitars now, and if you imagine we have three acoustic guitarists who are playing exactly the same piece of music at the same time, they will never play it at exactly the same moment. They won't play it in unison. There will always be a guitarist that plays it slightly faster or slightly slower or slightly before or slightly after the initial beat. So what I'm going to do is click and highlight this second guitar track select that. I'm going to magnify that object and here we have the entire guitar on that second track. I'm going to zoom in slightly. I'm going to zoom across because I've obviously lost it off the screen and what I'm going to do is move this guitar track very slightly to the right, not a lot. I'm going to click and drag it away from that beat just a little bit like so. It looks like a lot, but we zoomed out, zoomed in quite a bit. I'm going to zoom out of that. And I'm going to take the second guitar, highlight that, zoom into that one, magnify that object, and again zoom in quite a bit to that one. Zoom across until it comes back onto the screen, zoom in, zoom across. And I'm going to move this one further across. If I click and drag this, if you notice when I click and drag this, it magnetically locks onto a point there. See that? That. And that is the point at which I moved that previous guitar track. So I'm going to move this one approximately the same distance again, say there, and we'll zoom out from that. Click away and highlight it. At the top here, I've added a bass track and at the moment I've muted it so that uh, it doesn't play. So let's just unmute that. Again, I've put a bass track in that is playing on the same notes as the guitar. But what I want to do is just reduce the volume of that so that it doesn't overpower the guitars. As always, you end up with this wonderful screen and here's the master volume. I just want to turn that down to minus four decibels. There we go. And the end object here, I want to fade this out a little bit, just as the guitar at the end starts fading, so that it doesn't overpower the guitar fade at the end. Click away from that. And you'll now hear that this sounds a lot warmer and more rich than just the single guitar on its own. Let's play that.
as you can tell, that sounds much better than a single guitar on its own. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.